At the end of July 2025, there was a hotfix change made to the network that has pretty significant changes to the way that Tau is distributed. Watch this video to learn what those changes are and what it means for you. Tau in is defined as the alpha price divided by the sum of all alpha prices. When the price is less than tau in, we've got a new mechanism. And if you think about it, this is always going to happen if this value here, if the sum of subnet prices is less than one. If this is less than one, price is always going to be less than tau in. So what happens if price is less than the tau in? We've got a whole new set of code that's in place. And what happens is um, default tau in, which is calculated just before here, um, is the price divided by the sum of subnet prices. And so in this case, the sum of subnet prices is less than one. So the default tau in is 0.11. Tau in i is the price times the block emission, which is one. So since the price is one, tau in i is 0.1. And so now we calculate the difference and the difference is just um, the default minus the tau in i. So it's 0.011, it's 0.111 minus 0.1, we get this difference. So what happens is that 0 0.00011 is switched into alpha and then that alpha is recycled. So let's look at what that looks like here. You may have seen this idea where we have tau over here, we have alpha over here. So there's 0.1 tau coming in, there's one alpha going in, that keeps the price even because the price is 0.1. But now we also have this difference coming in of 0 .00, 0 0.00.0111 tau that is sold and 0.11 alpha exits the liquidity pool. And then that 0.11 alpha is recycled. So it's removed from circulation only to be emitted again later on further along in the chain. The next important change in this latest release is the way that root alpha is distributed. So traditionally, we figured out what the root proportion is, determined the percentage of root alpha, that's converted to tau, and then that tau is distributed to the root stakeholders. In the 2025 change, this significantly changes. If some of the tau is sold as alpha and recycled, that's called being subsidized. And when the sub subnet is subsidized on that block, there is no emission to root divs. So no alpha is converted to tau and distributed to the root stakeholders. If the subnet is not subsidized, uh, that it, the alpha is converted into tau, and then it is uh, accumulated to be distributed at the end of the epoch. So what's really important here is the sum of subnet prices is less than one, the subnet is subsidized, the alpha is burned, and there are no root dividends. So we can look at this in two different ways. When the subnet is subsidized, whatever that root proportion of alpha is, it's burned. However, if it's not subsidized, that is converted into root alpha. That root alpha is sold into tau and distributed to stakeholders. Thanks for watching and follow the TauStats YouTube channel for the latest updates on the BitTensor network.